What's up, Dream Chasers? What's up, Wrench Gang? Day two at Echo. Sorry if it was loud. Turn the heat on. It's 10.55 a.m. I was supposed to be there at 8 a.m., uh, but the calling in day from Livernoy said they were gonna get there at 9 so I set my alarm and I was like fuck it I'm gonna get there at like 10 well I'm gonna get there at 11 um, it's not a big deal uh, test passes I don't even think even start till just now <clears throat> so and I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to run my car Dave last night was talking to the guy and he's like well you might be able to get two passes for sure one I'm like dude there's no way even if we get the trans tune figured out I'm gonna be able to pull off an eight second pass today um, I don't know what the DA is I know at 8 a.m. it was supposed to be like 1900 negative 1900 which is insane um, so my plan for today I had a really weird dream. I'm not gonna tell you guys about it, but it was just me. Well, I had a, I had a dream that I was like, maybe I should just sell my car and just start over. And I woke up and I was kind of pissed off. So I'm trying to get in a better mood. Got some caffeine. Um, so the plan for today: film a lot of stuff, have a lot of fun, hang out with a bunch of YouTubers, Instagram people, people that follow me, people that watch me for whatever reason they do but just kind of hang out with you guys if you're here and just enjoy the day you know if i can't race my car because it's not <clears throat> working correctly that's out of my control like you know what i mean like that's what you pay your tuner for or your shop or whatever so i i can't do anything and uh am i mad yes yes i am a lot of you guys are commenting like, oh, you should switch tuners and stuff. Look, I, I'm very loyal. Livernoy hasn't like done me wrong. Yes, this pisses me off, but Livernoy hasn't like told me to fuck off or something like that. And I've heard some horror stories from some other shops. And I I genuinely like the guys at Livernoy and I like the stuff that they do. My Trackhawk runs amazing. My charger was running amazing. And then I blew the motor and you know, when you blow the motor and you have to start adding more, you putting down more power, things start happening. And, and I understand that. And that's what kind of sucks when you do blow your motor is things change. It's not a OEM motor from the factory. Um, you know, building a motor, like it doesn't matter what shop it is. It's not gonna be perfect just like uh, an OEM Hellcat block, it's not. There, it's not like imagine how many millions and millions of dollars of research go into uh, Hellcat engines versus you know a shop putting together you know you could say my engine or a 426 or whatever it's just it comes with the territory it is what it is but I'm gonna have some fun today and uh, I don't know where I'm going so I'm gonna put down the phone and I will see you guys at the track guys, wish me luck I'm in the fucking fast group so I'm gonna have to try and react to the light a little bit too, so there's not gonna be no like actual testing, testing. I'm in SRT Mush's group, so that's fun. So I'm definitely gonna work on going off the light too. Uh, hopefully this transmission works. This is my one shot. <laughs>
different tune and a different way to log it too because they want to look at specific things so we're going to try that and so much in it. 